Okay, you have your boot up from your Raspberry Pi and this is what you'll get, but what I want to do is try and take control of my Raspberry Pi through my PC so that I don't have to sit here with the camera for now because there's going to be other software I want to load to show you how to copy, um, record your screen, etc. But for now, we, we need to get to the basics of how do we get to the Windows PC because it, let's start at the beginning, as we say. So the first thing you want to do is the terminal's up on the top left. You're already logged in. As you can see, you're logged in is Raspberry Pi. Uh, the, you know, the PI at Raspberry Pi. So you're actually logged in as user Pi already. So what you want to do is put ifconfig as a command, and it will tell you what your IP address is on the network. Because obviously you plugged in your your uh, card or well sorry your either your wi-fi connector and connected it to the network or you've plugged in your um, cat5 cable and this is the ip see 192.168.1.107 they'll all become relevant in a second so you just run putty and this is what will open when you run putty um, as you can see, I put in 192.168.1.107. So that's 192.168.1.107. Port 22 is the same. You can actually save these settings, but later on I'll set up the um, Raspberry Pi with a locked uh, IP address because at the moment it can change because uh, I haven't set it up yet. But this is just for getting a connection open. So here we are. So our username is pi, pi, and our password is raspberry. And there you go. We're now logged in. Okay, the next thing is we're going to need to create a root password because um, we need to make some commands because things like, if we click on here, apt, get install well let's think of a program uh, uh, screen recorder just put something in there screen recorder it won't do it um, because you're not logged in as a root and there's no root password yet so you can't access the root so we actually need to create a password so sudo password root and now we create our password and now we have access as a root user so we're now going to check our configuration for SSH SSH is basically what we're doing where we're logging in remotely um, so what we're going to do is sudo click in again sudo sudo is super user does raspy config okay so what we're looking for is the assets H boot options where are you boot options Have a look in here. SHH, there we go. Is it on? Yes. So this is telling us that we have access via the network, although obviously we do. But if you're getting problems, you can log into your Raspberry Pi Direct, and this is where you'll find that you need to change that. User password. I'm going to change my Pi password as well. And now we're going to have a play it getting in with the root user so we can do some updates and install some software. So, how do we use our root user? Well, all you have to do is go sudo. Uh, 
Is it? I think it's SU. Yeah, so the super user does becomes a super user. As you can see, I've now changed to root instead of just being the uh, Pi guy. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to do app get uh, update. See if our software needs any updates. And it will go. We've got quite a fast internet connection here. Well, we do on Linux. On Windows, it's extremely slow because <laughs> uh, obviously the files are a bit smaller on the uh, Raspberry Pi. But as you can see, it's going through its updates now. I'll just give it a couple of minutes to do all that. But as you can see, we're now the super user. Woohoo!